about radio. Hi guys, uh, this is the last uh, video in the uh, uh, antenna rotator project and um, just thought I'd uh, take the opportunity to remind you that I've not only made the uh, antenna rotor, rotator but I've also built the beam and there's a little video of uh, that beam and uh, there's a link to that if you pull down the show more box below uh, uh, the image here and um, as there are links to uh, each of the videos in this series um, and uh, I use this antenna on high days and holidays so it's not there permanently uh, so uh, I think it's uh, I treat it a bit like a field day I guess it's uh, nice to get the antenna out occasionally and uh, give it a whirl um, but I just thought I'd uh, show you how easy it is to uh, uh, erect um, so in this clip I've actually taped the camera to the, uh, the uh, rope that I'm pulling it up with but uh, uh, because I'm seven foot above the uh, ground level it's uh, very easy to pull up but it's, uh, it's quite light I'll just show you the way to the antenna. I've got a, a little spring balance here and I'll measure the weight of the mast and the antenna and um, you'll see that the, uh, the little black uh, pointer there uh, just registers the total weight. You can see I can lift that with one hand and uh, here you can see that the um, uh, the weight is uh, about 46 pounds or 21 kilograms so uh, 46 pounds that's about well it's just over four and a half gallons of water weighs uh, uh, 46 pounds and of course 21 litres of water would weigh uh, 21 kilograms so not very heavy at all as you can see here I'm standing on an elevated deck uh, but the beam is uh, 6.4 meters above ground level that's nearly 21 feet above the ground level but you will have noticed that I've got a good elevation above sea level to start with once I got the antenna erected I just uh, slipped the uh, rotator underneath it and uh, this is uh, the first time I've done that since it's been completed that's the location of the mast into the uh, coupling at the top of the rotator okay I've got my uh, beam set up on the rotator and then uh, this is the uh, this is the rotator control and you can see I'm set at north at the minute and this is a, a great circle map uh, based on uh, the UK um, so uh, this is uh, England and Wales and I'm in Wales just on the west coast of Wales there so it's uh, near enough for me and uh, so uh, this is north and um, uh, interestingly because um, New Zealand is so far away um, uh, New Zealand on the Great Circle stretches uh, from uh, uh, just a few degrees um, uh, east of north uh, right through to um, uh, about 68 degrees uh, east of north so all of this is New Zealand of course if we were completely opposite then it would be all the way around so um, Australia is uh, there whereas on a conventional map for us it's in the bottom right hand corner um, uh, so um, uh, Canada and America over to the uh, the northwest um, South America uh, Africa of course and uh, the South Pole down there Antarctica um, so uh, anyway that's um, that's what my great circle map looks like because of the problems with contrast I've had to hang the light bulb uh, here 
to try and illuminate the uh, uh, the meter but uh, anyway we'll get that out of shot it's very satisfying to have made not only the uh, uh, the rotator but uh, the beam as well so that's on one of my videos so here we go So the wire's not uh, twisting, that's good. And the top. Might want to do something to make that a little easier. So I notice there's a bit of uh, kick on there. And that's, I'll, I'll go to save. And that's because I haven't got a regulated power supply. So that's uh, that's safe. I'll carry on going round. Yeah, I might want to do something with that wire at the top. I think it uh, it wants a bigger loop there, doesn't it? But anyway, that's not the end of the world. We'll put that back to where it was. Okay, well that's the first uh, time that has turned that beam. So I've just got to sort out that uh, a loop on the, uh, the wire there. I thought I'd allowed enough. I need to think that through just a little bit more. Um, but uh, that's uh, no big deal. Okay, I've just changed the position of uh, where I've got the coax feed taped up. And um, i just uh, check and see how we go with that. So I'll go fully uh, anti-clockwise. Uh, that's the extent of my travel there. No worries. Now we'll come back. To, uh, to north. With the way I've arranged the meter, I get 440 degrees uh, total rotation. That's the 360 degrees uh, running from north to north, and I have uh, 40 degrees over travel at each end. Looks okay. I set the motor speed with that uh, little uh, drill switch speed controller uh, to give me a rotation of uh, about 360 degrees uh, in a minute and uh, that was uh, no load and uh, this is actually coming in at just a little bit under that um, uh, and that's fine. It it looks uh, okay. I think any uh, uh, any faster rotation and stopping, it would probably get a bit of a uh, bit more twist and uh, overshoot than I uh, than I want. So I'm perfectly happy with that. So no need to adjust it again. And that looks okay. Now close up again. Yeah, but I'll
For all the work you've seen in this uh, video series on the rotator, there's uh, about three days of um, electrical stroke mechanical work. That's uh, right from uh, getting the gearbox through to finishing off the control unit. Um, but there's about a further ten days of editing and uploading uh, that goes on. Um, but I enjoy uh, both sides of it, although some of it can be frustrating. Uh, there are links to all of the uh, other parts of the series in the show more box below. Uh, let me have your comments and feedbacks. I'm always interested to know uh, how my work's been received. Okay, guys. Well. That's it. Uh, remember, I built this uh, beam uh, for use on sort of high days and holidays. There's uh, a little video that I made that shows uh, how I made the 20 meter beam. And um, uh, it's nice to have built the beam and the, uh, the rotator. It um, uh, hasn't been an expensive project at all, uh, but it's been a bit of fun. So I think that's as far as I'm going to go. I'll get on the air tonight and uh, try the beam out, but I know it works. Um, so I won't be doing any more on this uh, antenna rotator. <laughs> uh, so thanks for all of the, uh, uh, the nice comments uh, I've had so far. And um, I'm glad to have helped uh, some people uh, pick up a few tips. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. By the way, there's no... Uh, mechanical coupling uh, at the bottom of the mast uh, to connect it to the rotator other than uh, just two little uh, mouse holes that are, are cut out at the bottom of the mast and uh, they sort of uh, position over two allen bolts that are sticking up in that bottom coupling and uh, I've marked both parts with uh, a dot that marks north and um, that's the north as indicated on the meter. Um, I have to twist the, uh, the rotator to, just to set the true north. Um, uh, and, uh, and that's it guys. Um, thanks for watching. 73s. Bye bye.